Hello, in this video we address using point-of-sale systems with CAS label printing scales and we address something not commonly understood uh, or known about the label printing scales and that is that they do not print out all of the details that you think that they might onto the label for the point-of-sale. So bear in mind this is going to be a detailed uh, video over some very over some subjects that are very nuanced and it probably requires that you know a little bit about the cast scales and that's probably why you've come to see this video because you're trying to address a limitation of the cast scale so what we see here is uh, this is directly from the cast manual and it's discussing these uh, the barcodes and what's really going to be displayed on the label. And so we can see in these labels, we have different uh, views here. It can show the weight of the sweetened condensed milk, or it can show as pieces of sweetened condensed milk. And the barcode that's being displayed is the same for both. So when your point of sale system receives this information, you're going to assume that the barcode knows that uh, can, can indicate to the point of sale that it was three pieces or it was 1.51 but that assumption it would be invalid because the barcode on both of these is exactly the same so how do you get into your point of sale the quantity that you're providing so that your point of sale can correctly update inventory so that's what we're really getting to the meat of this. The, uh, the, the cast labels can transmit to you the price and the item that you're selling, but your point of sale would not be able to know the quantity, so it would always indicate the quantity sold was one. So we'll go ahead and now provide an example of that. Uh, and we have a workaround here, and that's why we're discussing this video. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use that same uh, label that we saw with the same barcode and scan an item and we'll see what would normally happen when your system can receive barcodes from a cast label. So that would be this barcode that we're going to be scanning right now. Okay, so what we see here is that there's a quantity one. There's the product is it identify the product and then I identified the price so um, so now in sca scanning the same barcode we can get the quantity the price and the item that we want all into the point of sale system just as we need so the quantity is 1.51 the price is a dollar the item and then the extended price. So pulling back up this this one label here, if we want to look at this now, we can clearly see that the weight was 1.51, the price was one dollar, and so we've got everything that we needed out of the CAS label scale. Okay, and as mentioned before, we're going to assume you know uh, a bit about point of sale and so some of these screens that we're going to be looking at here should be familiar to you. I looked up sweet and condensed milk we see that the actual barcode of the item is part of what was on the label so the label uh, has the price included in the barcode that is scanned so the barcode here has the PLU number which is this first section and then the price section which is the second part so we'll, it ignores the 8 but it's going to be the 00151 would be the total price and you can either have the system read the first zero or not if it is reading the first zero then you're going to need to have that plugged into the point of sale as part of the the barcode for the actual item like you see here We might have looked up the, the wrong item there. It should have 
be like that. And so then also under our, our system, we have a checkbox in the retail section and settings for use cast label printer and then the convert price to quantity and that's that conversion that we covered in the last section. So if you have any questions, give us a call at 866-973-8099. You can check us out at cafecartel.com or see more of our videos at youtube.com slash ccspos. We look forward to hearing from you.